Sarah DiPuglia here, host of Deals. And uh, it's been a little bit since I've been on here. I've been in what I would call a uh, Sarah Possula, which is a play on words, of course, of the Vipassana, which is typically a 10 day silent meditation. Hi, Norma. So I've been calling it a Sarah Possula. <laughs> and I've been taking the opportunity in this um, social distancing time to to go even deeper into my shadows, even deeper into knowing myself and where I've held myself back and what fears have been coming up for me. And I think that's been the theme of what May has been about, really. Can you hear me okay, Norma, by the way? Um, my iPad doesn't have a place to put my headphones in and there's kind of people out on their balconies you can see in the reflection here outside of Flow Studios. Part of my um, just I've been having my Vipassana not brushing my hair day <laughs> just drinking copious amount of coffee as well okay I'm assuming those likes means you can hear me so cheers here's my classic first ever logo inspiring life and that's what it's all about and I've always been about inspiring life and really redefining new ways of being on this planet coming from uh, as a millennial, you know, we kind of sometimes get a bad rap for not following the orders of what was the patriarchal system. And, you know, 5D TV network and the vision and what I had with this was really about kind of speaking about what mainstream media is about and the patriarchal system and just seeing that we were going to be really stepping into a new earth and a new world. and here we are you know i've had to go through some shock and grief and everything that others have experienced and i'm we're all experiencing them to different degrees and so i just want to take this opportunity to send love so much love and compassion to anybody who is really struggling right now uh, i myself have have experienced losing my mind have you experienced losing your mind and it's actually, you know, in the moment you're you're trying to grasp onto something, you know, trying to grasp onto a safety net, trying to grasp to, you know, what is this new reality? But the point, and, and it's really something to celebrate, and the celebration usually occurs once you you've um, got your grounding again. But the key, the, it's a beautiful thing to lose your mind, and I think that's what the new earth is about. We're we're losing the mind. We're losing old ways of thinking, we're, we're, we're letting go of old ways of being that really weren't actually serving our health and serving, first of all, our, our, our highest good, our, our most effortless way of being who we are. And, you know, we're all going through this journey of realizing who we're not, how we've limited ourselves, how we've put ourselves in boxes, how we've uh, played to the patriarchal way, how we've let go of our control to the outer world and finding deeper and deeper who we are inside, knowing thyself deeper and deeper and deeper depths. And, you know, losing our mind is a powerful thing because, because it takes us to a new awareness. It's where we actually find a, a stronger power inside of ourselves. And we start to really settle into our being, beingness at deeper and deeper levels. And this is what the new earth is all about in a state of being it is all about our being the fifth dimension isn't a place to go to it's to realize that the only place is here and now and the only person who is responsible for our state of being is ourselves and hi lena hi uh justin as well i see you're on here say hello if you're here I, uh, I've been a little bit all over. I've created another network called Flow Network. I created a podcast called Speak From The Root. Hi, Neil. And, uh, but I've been drawn to come back to the 5D because this is where we're actually moving into. And this, um, the, what's happening on our planet, all the changes that are occurring are just a outward metaphor and mirror for all the changes that are and the awarenesses that are happening inside of ourselves. And we are here to co-create this new world, this new earth, and it starts with ourselves. And 
you know, in my past, when I've given myself this time alone to reflect, and as I'm calling now Sarah Pasanoff, <laughs> my name's Sarah, Sarah Pasanoff or Pasanoff. If, you didn't, if you're just joining in, you'll have to go back. <laughs> um, so if we're taking this opportunity to, to understand that going slow and, and nurturing ourselves, nurturing deeper parts of ourselves is actually the most important thing we can do right now. It's the most valuable thing we can do right now. And uh, Justin's saying sorry for what you're going to, you don't have to be sorry, I celebrate it. <laughs> I totally celebrated them. We're all one. We're all in this together. We are all shedding. And there's grief. There's a grief process. And if we, when we move slow and we allow ourselves the time to grieve, the healing takes place and we show up in new ways that are actually just healthier for ourselves and for all of those around us. So uh, this is really what the understanding of the fifth dimension is all about it's it's a it's to reframe yes that it is all a journey and how do we want to show up in this journey from a place of being and understand that it doesn't matter what you do if you're not established in the deepest truth of who you be and it's from that place of being that action emerges that inspirational action emerges and you kind of slip into the stream of flow and this is what the new earth is all about is to understand that we thought that we lived in a linear reality and that gave us a sense of safety to know what's ahead and what we're understanding is that things can change we can change we can actually change day to day if we allow ourselves and that's a powerful place to be in that space and and then obviously our society is changing and there's a lot of unknowns as well um, but it really like the experience that you have in your outer reality is a hundred percent reflective of the experience you have in your inner reality so if you have any parts of your inner reality that are in um, hiding or dissonance out of alignment you'll experience that in your outer reality. And what a great opportunity for us to kind of clear our inner reality deeper and deeper and deeper so that we can show up into this new world. Um, and we will show up into this new world based off of our frequent frequency, based off of what we are broadcasting. What is our clear channel? We are all just channels of light, really. and. The higher the frequency on the inside, the higher the frequency you'll experience on the outside. And like I said, the most powerful thing you can do is to know thyself. Justin says, be yourself, not your idea of what you think somebody else's idea should be. Yes. And this is what I'm coming to, I am coming through, I believe all of us to some degree are also coming, coming through as well. Norma says, Sarah, you are such a gentle spirit. Thank you, Norma. So are you. We are reflections of one another. And this is this is the understanding in the fifth dimension is we really are all one. And our outer reality is more than ever showing this globally. We're all in this together. And the fifth dimension is this understanding of unity. What if we really are all connected? What if we really are all one and what if if we're all here in our quarantine clearing our channels knowing ourselves deeper stepping deeper into the truth of who we are deeper into our light what spontaneous evolution can occur on our planet we are no longer in a linear timeline this is quantum this is multi-dimensional this is remembering our power as creators of this reality. Powerful, powerful, powerful times indeed. In our letting go of the things that hold us back, we might outwardly have reflections of that as well in different relationships or environments. And I have experienced where I've had attachments to the old ways or different people 
and uh, how that just continues to to hold hold us back. I mean, even as a society outside, how are we still trying to, you know, in this new normal, uh, do things the old way, and you know, avoid being still with ourselves and avoid being quiet and listening to what is asking of us to be seen and to be let go of. Justin says the two most powerful words, what if. Yes, what if allows our imagination to kick into gear and our imagination is really our most powerful tool um, because what we can imagine in our mind we can create outside and um, you know this pandemic is causing a lot of fear and you know it's really all about our choice we have to become so reflective of the choices that we make and if they're coming from a place of fear they're coming from a place of love and we all have reason to have fear and it's a beautiful thing to be able to lean into that and see what is really true for us to go in inside ourselves and listen what is really true for us and really honor that. So, sending you so much love. Um, remember that you are the story maker. You are the creator. We are co-creators. We are stepping into powerful times. New ways of being, new ways of co creating. And it is based off really powerful love. And in that space of love, that highest frequency, we really can create miracles. So I'm wishing you a miracle this week. I'm wishing you to experience magic. I'm wishing for you to really experience the deep, raw power that you have within you. Send you so much love, and I look forward to chatting to you again really soon. Peace. And that's right. So peace.